All right, let's cross back to Yerevan and uh, say hello to Berj uh, Satrakian, president of the Armenian General Benevolent Union. Thank you for speaking with us here uh, on France 24. Um, you are an attorney based in New York City. Tell me how the Armenian genocide affected your family personally. You know, the effect of the Armenian genocide uh, carries itself through a whole century. It affects uh, everybody's life, uh, uh, the deportation and the way that my generation grew up, obviously, we were not uh, involved directly in the genocide. We were uh, born uh, years later, but uh, we lived it through our grandparents. We lived it through our parents. Uh, uh, our grandparents used to live with the nostalgia of the old country, and for, for them, old country was Turkey. And suddenly, they were homeless and trying to get adapted to a new land dispersed around the world. And uh, practically every moment was uh, uh, genocide was on their mind, like my grandmother. And her, uh, her parents had been killed, and uh, her brother, they were separated. And uh, her brother, who was at that time about 10 years old, uh, was buried under the bodies of killed people, and he was smart enough not to make any noise. And at night, he came out and started walking all the way to Aleppo and then to Iskenderun, and after years, through common friends, sister and brother uh, met again. And you can just imagine the, the trauma that uh, they carried with them. And uh, every time that we used to have a family gathering when I was a child, 10 year old, 12 year old, uh, and they were trying to enjoy a drink, a meze, the old uh, uh, food that they used to share in Turkey, always it ended up with uh, tears and sadness. Uh, so for the rest, it affected every, every Armenian's life for the last hundred years. And what would they, your grand... We what, should uh, f find... I, I was going to say, what would your grandmother make of, yes, uh, of, of the commemorations that are taking place today? If she was alive, she, especially this week, should have been uh, uh, somehow uh, vindicted. Uh, not for the sake, because she was a very, very uh, uh, God-loving, uh, pious person. I don't think that uh, vindiction was her uh, aim, but she would have thought that finally we are starting to see some justice at the end of the tunnel and that perseverance pays. And while uh, the Ottoman Empire and the successors, uh, the Turkish government, used to think that with time people uh, will uh, forget and uh, the memories will fade away, uh, but on the contrary, with the new generation, while standing up, we feel much stronger that we need, we need the recognition, we need justice, because if there is no recognition for a crime, then it will be twice repeating the same crime. And uh, as President Hollande said today, today beautifully, yeah. I, I was going to say, uh, I'm listening. You, you heard our, our, our correspondent Armin Georgian say that there's a bit of a dichotomy between the Armenians of the diaspora, like yourself, and those that live in Armenia today. They want to build a viable republic. For them, normalization of ties with Turkey is something they strive for. Well, uh, you know, after, uh, we are one nation, a nation uh, beyond borders. We have Armenia and we have the diaspora. Obviously, the Armenians of the diaspora have been more directly affected by the genocide because they used uh, to live in Western Armenia, which was mainly Anatolia and all the way uh, the, to the west, to Izmir and is Istanbul. Uh, the direct effect uh, on the individuals is somehow different, but uh, it affected the nation, and today we have an independent Armenia. If not for the independent Armenia, I don't think that would have gone as far uh, as uh, we did the last few years. And what happened today, it was something extraordinary. Do so it's, it's, uh, it's, uh, it's true that for Armenia, they have to take into consideration the present reality. Don't forget that uh, Turkey has a full blockade on our borders. We be, they blame uh, other countries for uh, blockades of, on other people. But since uh, 1994, we are already a landlocked country. 
and yet we are blocked on one hand by Turkey, on the other hand by uh, Azerbaijan, and uh, we are struggling. To, uh, to, in a certain way, the, uh, the genocide somehow is continuing, but we are proud people, we are smart people. Uh, today we have a beautiful country, we have some economic problems, but the economic problems are not going to let our people uh, give up uh, the, the, their continuous uh, see, uh, sought for, uh, for justice. And uh, the Armenian government has been really up to the standards, and without an independent Armenia, the diaspora and the Armenian nation couldn't have achieved these results.